Greetings, everybody. I'm not back, but I'm going to be honest with you. Dovey Magnum, I think, did this song, we can't hold it. I can't hold it because this morning I'm spending my time in silence, which I've been doing for weeks, just trying to stay inside because I realize at this time, in this dispensation, one has to try to hold it but it is difficult for me to hold it especially now that i hear this coronavirus has reached jamaica and to be honest with you as i'm having these private conversations with myself you know there are issues that i grapple grab you know grapple with there are things that i'm saying to myself i'm trying to come face to face with that spirit within and without you know to to, to challenge to question to search, to find answers. And so in this time, when I see what's happening, one of the first things I have to say is this coronavirus was uh, first discovered in a place called Wuhan in China. Now, the question I have and the problem I'm having is who saw the virus? I didn't know who found this germs, who saw this virus, who came in contact with this virus, who understood that it came from this particular place. Listen, we got some geniuses in this world. You got some brilliant minds in this world who can tell you about the worst, you know, atrocity and travesty minutes after the fact. And so the world is about to face what is called a pandemic in this situation. And the question is, who will win? The virus or the man or the woman? Who is going to benefit from this virus? Because these viruses, they're taking on a person, like a human-like personality, traveling and going to places and taking control of human being. And so we always come to the question, who is God? Where is God? And the thing is, don't worry about who and where God is. The answer is within you. The problem I'm having with the world is that it just takes one person to change the mind of many. It takes one deed to alter the existence of a reality. That's all I'm going to say in this video. I'm going to say, as I shine, bless up yourself, uh, says, it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. He that sit underneath the stool and plot the demise of the one that sits on the stool will find himself trapped beneath the stool. Stay blessed, everybody.